everyone. I'm Renata Bowers, author of the Free to Be series of picture books and co-owner of The Story Barn here in Summers, Connecticut. I and my family and Paula LaJoy and hers, we welcome you um, to our upcoming first week of autumn afternoons and we are so excited to have you join us here. So what I want to do is just give you a quick overview of what you can expect when you get here so that when you arrive there's very little time having to do much other than grab your supplies and get your spot and go settle in and be on your way. We really want to be able to make the most of the three hours that you have here so that you can truly be off and adventuring. So this little video will help acclimate you. I've heard from parents that sometimes kids really like to watch the video too as it helps them feel um, a sense of anticipation and also assuredness they know what to expect. So feel free to share this with your children. So this first week is called Autumn Days and Nights. Again, autumn, you've probably noticed we're spelling A-W-E because for us, we're so interested in inspiring that sense of wonder and awe in children and in you. And so we have for you some selected projects for you to consider making while you're here. And um, the other option, just so you know, is that you can be taking the supplies home with you and making the, the projects at home and actually spending all your time here adventuring outside, playing, doing a scavenger hunt, um, exploring and doing all that stuff, just relaxing and enjoying nature. So there's all kinds of options. There's no one way to do it. You have three hours, a de dedicated space on our property and all the time that you need to use as you like. I will point out, it will be important that you remember to bring a mask we do have masks here available for sale if you don't have one, but we do ask that every guest has one. When you are at your dedicated spot, you can take those masks off. But while you're exploring the property around other guests, we do want you to have each have a mask um, to use. All right, so let's take a look at what this week's projects and supplies look like. When you arrive at the Story Barn, you are going to receive a basket much like this. It contains all kinds of things for exploring and creating. So standard in every basket every week would be our jar of chalk. Um, why? Because chalk is, you can draw on just about anything. It's gonna wash off in the next rain anyway. So this is a great, great fun thing to keep kids occupied. Another is our water bottle, our spray bottle. Kids love the spray bottle, um, especially when combined with the um, magnifying glass because when you look at something with the magnifying glass and then spray it and look again, you see things change and the water actually acts as another magnifier. So you can really see all kinds of intricacies in plants and stones and all kinds of things. So that's, those are just fun standard items along with the bubbles, because who doesn't love bubbles? Those are standard. Everything else in here has been tailored to help you create either exactly the projects we're going to show you or projects you might come up with entirely different. Um, oftentimes kids take the supplies we give them and come up with something very, very different, which we love. So um, I'm going to just walk you through really quickly the theme being autumn days and nights. We're looking a lot at um, light or things in nature that have kind of a nocturnal or a daytime theme. So for instance, our first one are these mason, sun, um, mason jar lid sun catchers. So as you can see, this is playing off the light, the autumn light. We're using things that we find out while we're foraging and we're creating a sun catcher, which then obviously in the, in the light um, is just this beautiful fall accent. So that's one option. And certainly, if you have any questions about how we did any of these, we're always on hand and we can help you, give you some quick little tips if you're wondering how we might have done something. But again, you might find a whole new way of doing something too. Um, when we look at kind of the nighttime end, one of the things that I love about fall is candles. Um, I have candles all over and, you know, who doesn't love these electric candles for kids because they're safe. You can buy them at most supply store, um, you know, craft supply stores or um, department stores or all kinds of places. But anyway, keeping that in mind, we found a way of making these little lit lanterns that can just top right over them and make a really nice accent at home and 
children really love to feel proud of something they've made and when it lights up it's just it's delightful so again we give you all the supplies for this um, and as you're looking for supplies for both of these projects probably a good idea to stay on the real thin side of what you're choosing because it, it allows everything to lie real flat okay next um, we have our um, this is a bark owl you can also make it with pine cones I mean really actually you could make it with leaves or anything you want this is again just an example but a piece of bark with a couple of acorn eyes um, some uh, popsicle stick for the nose we found a twig with some leaves on it and then we use our construction paper and our paper plate and voila Again, your child might look at this entirely differently and create something different, but we're just using items from nature to create something that reminds us of what takes place in the fall at night. And I don't know, an owl with a full moon certainly does speak autumn to me. And last but not least, if you joined us here for Summer of Wonder, you might recall that we asked children to adopt a tree while they were here, and we had great fun with that all summer. Um, well, we kind of wanted to revisit that because when children adopted a tree on the property, we also asked them to make a little fairy house with a terracotta um, pot at the foot of that tree to invite little beings or critters to keep the tree happy while they were gone. Well, moving into fall, it certainly is getting a little cooler. So we thought, well, maybe it would be a good idea to give those little fairies or critters a way to get indoors on cold nights. And so here is another option of what you can be making. They're little fairy doors. And so they're just popsicle sticks with crayons, markers, glue, and then embellishments that you find out in nature again. And these can sit at the foot of your favorite tree here or at home. Anything you make, you are welcomed to leave here to beautify the property, or you can take home with you. The choice is your child's. Last but not least, every child will receive our autumn afternoons notebook. And this is just a fun way for your child to consider taking notes, making leaf rubbings, drawing pictures, just capturing some of what he or she did um, in your time here with us. All right. Um, everything else should be in the email that you received. All other important details like restrooms. Yes, we have them. Books. Yes, they're available for sale and I'm happy to sign them for you. Um, anything else certainly would be in the email itself. So. We look forward to you arriving. Again, any time between that one o'clock and four o'clock period is yours. You don't have to arrive right, right at one. You don't have to stay till four. You can come and go as you like. But we certainly will be here ready and waiting to welcome you to the Story Barn for a fun autumn afternoon. See you then.